What is going on here? How are you guys doing today? Welcome back. Little Falker, Corner Sherman, The Malorian, Josh, Michael Greenberg, what's up? Ram, Stephen Cole, John, how are you guys doing? We are facing the Blacks. Oh my God, we are facing the Blacks again. Two times this week. Was... Oh no, it was last week. I don't remember. How are you guys doing today? And they are attacking early. This is so unfair. They saw our defense. They know where to attack. Where can I get uh, invite for the Discord? The Discord is available on uh, every video. You should do... Yikes, Ricardo Lansing. Adopt, what's up? Happy Diamond Day. I think I lost all my CC, but... Uh, We'll see this last one. You still don't have the results. Yeah, good luck with your diamonds, guys. Good luck with your diamonds. I still have to do my attacks. So we're going to do the attacks before we do water, I think. So we have time. And we should have some data mines today. About uh, the escape from Kylne. Data mines today, maybe, against this, for escape from Kylne. And about the new event. We'll see. MSFBT, José Armando, Viper GT, what's up? Gasmaster, how are you guys doing today? VNM, who outspeeds Firestar in water? Uh, probably no one. Magneto, Omega Red, they outspeed Firestar, but if they have American Chavez, no one outspeeds them. It's kind of crazy that uh, American Chavez makes such a huge difference. Chris Bliss, how are you doing? Welcome back. Craig Thompson, welcome back, guys. Welcome back, everyone. Happy Diamond Day. Let's not get blacked. Oof. We'll see. From what I heard, the Black Suns is the worst uh, Black Alliance. So we'll see. And I'm just saying this to, to troll the, the Raging Nerd. Okay. Yeah, I have to do Crucible. We have one hour left. I apologize for my opponent for doing the tax so late, but doing the tax on Wednesday, it, it feels real bad. Streaming until 2 or 3 in the morning, it, it, it's not good. And I might st start streaming just Monday, Tuesday, skip Wednesday, and then do Thursday, Friday, something like this. Because streaming all these days to, to 2 in the morning is just not good. Double Link finally unlocked Apocalypse. It was a long journey. Time for a big Apocalypse now. Awesome and awesome. Without American Chavez. So Weapon X is the way to go against those teams. Or, uh, or Dead Seed. So if they have a way to clear negative effects, go Weapon X. If they don't, go Dead Seed. I'm taking Dr. Octopus, Green Golem, Black Cat, Nova for Dark Dimension 6. Omega Red, but uh, it will cost me 16 million gold. Should I just take Magneto or White? Ooh, I mean, uh, Magneto is very dead meta at this point. Omega Red, uh, it's still decent in water, but it's also not like top meta in water, so... Both options are not uh, perfectly amazing. <laughs> Maybe you should just wait for the next Legendary Viper GT. It's one month for the next Legendary, so maybe wait for the next Legendary. Yeah, John, the problem is the, the daylight changes. It really messes up uh, at this time of the year. PR Kevin, welcome back. Do you think uh, uh, Peter B. Parker? Probably on Monday, Monday or Tuesday. I think it's a six-day event, and it starts on Monday or Tuesday, something like that, for next week. Doan Melo, thanks for the, the follow. Welcome to the chat. Inexplicably, I'm 3 0 this week. Uh, that's good, that's good. Why are there no gold offers in the store for. Uh, I have no idea, man. I have no idea. There should be some, uh, some of those $5 gold offers with some extra soon. I'm not sure if it's today or if it's tomorrow. But yeah, as you guys can see, I'm also. 
low on gold. And this was because, look at this. Like, the gold store shows up infinite energy and molecular cloth. Like, these are some very important items for Dark Dimension 7. So, I just got baited into spending all my gold. I already used a dead seed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it gets to a point you just have to skip the room, VNM. It's better to skip rumors than uh, trying something that you're not sure. I, I understand that people want to get their attacks as fast as possible, if, if they can, but uh, it's convenient for the Alliance that uh, you try at least like every six hours or so to, to get your attacks in. I am, thanks for asking. I'm a little bit sleepy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit sleepy. I was taking a, a fast nap. But I think I'm more sleepy than before. Shekari Gaming, welcome back. Or maybe let me go wash my face. I'm gonna wash my face and then we'll do the crucible. While I cry also about uh, not having enough gold. Is it time to collect this? I think it's time to collect this. Okay, let's see how much time we have. One hour, 17 minutes. Okay, give me a second. back Kyle is coming next week it should be next week which team is going to be farmable right now it should be the extreme x-men which is sad news for me because I already have the max of but uh, yeah extreme x-men should be the next one after the extreme x-men it should be the symbiotes escape from Kyle should be coming next week we should have data mines or today or tomorrow, Friday, yes. About the rooms. I was checking if there is any data mines on the rooms, but not yet. It was the, the old rooms. So hopefully we'll get new rooms. We'll see. Where is Ricardo at? We need a battery bill screen. Or a be right back. Is it be right back or battery bill? <laughs> Will they put Mephisto in the... Ooh, I hope I hope not, uh, Sinpo. I hope not. I don't think we can counter Mephisto with what we have right now. Viper GT, I'm trying to get scroll for Arena. I'm stuck without him. My alliance is not war-focused, so that's not a factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you guys should, uh, should try to really focus on getting scroll. Maybe now that the, the, the gear tier 18 is cheaper on the gold store, maybe also get some from there. And, uh, and it, it should speed up the process. They are taking their time with Extreme to make them farmable. They don't, they don't want you to give that Nightcrawler for free. They really don't want you to, give, uh, to get Nightcrawler for free. What are the requirements from... We don't know yet. They say that you need Undying. But beyond the dying, we don't know. Nightcrawler, we don't know yet. Hopefully, we'll have data mines today about that. And we should. We should have some good data mines today. We'll see if that will be the case or not. Did we, were, did we ever get the gift? Not yet, not yet. Usually, the... The gifts from Dark Dimension 7 Celebration take like, what, three weeks, two or three weeks to, to get ready for deployment. I hope, I hope that Battery Build chooses like a Star Brand and Cosmic Ghost Rider, so it helps everyone with the next Legendary. But uh, 
that's me. Star brand at least, because the guy is trash. So at least if you have him a little bit bigger, you can uh, you can use him. Seven red stars zombie juggernaut is insane. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I told you, I told you one year ago or six months ago, zombie juggernaut very very good. The bigger you have him, the better. And uh, and very excited to to get some diamonds on him or probably not, probably not because people are going crazy with this leaderboard. I'm not sure if you guys have seen, but. Uh, 1,700, 1,800, yikes. So I can still get a, a big chunk of points, but that's uh, that's uh, quite a competitive uh, leaderboard this time. Nightcrawler can be like a Kanga, premium or exclusive. I, I know, I, Nightcrawler is definitely not going to be premium or exclusive, but it, Nightcrawler might be war store farmable in my opinion war store right now is the the hardest way to farm i still don't have the i'm almost there but i still don't have the that pegasus girl so what's her name iron heart so i still don't ever max it out because of the war store so there is a high chance that they would put nightcrawler on the war store just to make it as hard to farm as possible. And then maybe Forge on the Crucible store. And Sunspot on on a easier place. Ghost, two diamonds on him. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Are you guys like... Uh, I don't know how difficult it is. Like, what's the gap in the points or something? But uh, it's definitely very competitive for top 1000. This leaderboard is nuts. I haven't been looking after... Yeah, yeah. Arena, the hardest one right now. I have a bunch of war, uh, Arena credits. I have not been spending them. Eh? Because I have a nice amount of training materials. So, I'll be okay with that. That's all. Welcome back, Goliath. How are you guys doing today? Restarted instead of waiting it. Too big to waste. Yeah, yeah, but better wait, uh, VNM. Better wait a little bit. Michael Star, one of the shards away from a two diamond night crawler. It doesn't feel like I'm getting the. Yeah, yeah. Like from the Ultimus, I have not seen. I, I saw a night crawler one time on the Ultimus store this week, but it's definitely hard to get. And in the past, they were selling some cheap offers for his shards, but now that we are getting closer and closer of him being farmable. They really don't want you to, to buy any of those cheap offers. I saw a post on Discord. Hopefully they want to request Cabal for the... Uh, yeah, Tormento Todd. It's very likely. It's very likely. It's not confirmed yet, but it's very likely that we'll need Cabal for the, the next Legendary as well. I mean, you have two options. Or it's Cabal or it's the Spider Society. So I, I think it's better to have Cabal, but neither of them are good. Did you get any? No, no. The the panda pool still doesn't have any kit. It's still at zero. It has the pictures. It has the 3D. It has the body of the character. It has the the pictures of the abilities, but it doesn't have yet uh, anything on the kit. The poll is live for the council Discord. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not on the poll. I'm not on the poll. Like I told you guys, I got disqualified five minutes after I post that video. It was not even one hour. The, it was five minutes after. Sebi was just uh, like laughing. Ha 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 ha. Let's disqualify this guy right away. The Nano Mike Japan, welcome back. How are you doing? How are you doing, Senpai? <laughs> there is a big gap between top 100. And top 600, haven't bought any offers yet. Oh, that's, that's a good sign for me. That's a good sign for me. Maybe I can catch up as well. No out of time tunes for the selection. Ooh, that, that's terrible. That's really trash. 
So the guy cannot choose out of time characters. I mean, then what can you choose? I guess he can choose I've mind, I guess. So if he can choose out of time, then he can only choose I've mind. Everything else like is going to be farmable soon. Um, that's very, very garbage. Okay, anyway, I guess like F Scopely, F Scopely. Is the out of time team so good that they don't want to give shards away? They gave shards for the nowhere team. It was for Star Lord and Thor, I remember. Uh, but yeah, I guess because they, I mean, they were also, out of time was also legendary requirement. So only I've mind is the option. Wow, that's really garbage. That's really garbage mode. Yeah, I, I mean, they can, they can, they could give shards that are not uh, Black Knight. Uh, I don't know, like, once again, we are talking about Star Brandon Cosmic Ghost Rider. I don't see anyone making videos about how good Cosmic Ghost Rider is, right? And that's the thing that I'm saying, like, sure, I understand that uh, Black Knight is not possible, but this is not a good character. This, uh, this is a garbage character. And this is another garbage character. So we have two garbage characters and we cannot get shards for them. My extreme is huge. Yes, yes. Extreme, very, very good team. And with Professor X coming to the game, possible more X-Men characters in the future. It's not a bad investment to invest on these guys. I think overall, Maybe Cyclops right now is the only one that uh, is um, falling behind. But the other four, uh, I would definitely invest. It's African American Knight. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we have to do the, the Crucible. Yikes. Let's do this Crucible really quick. Once again, I apologize to my opponent for not uh, doing the attacks early. But attacking, doing streams so light at 2 in the morning and so on, it's, it's not good. I think he's Russian, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's Russian or Greek. Might be Greek. So something something Stalker from the something something Alliance. Oh, this is great. And what he has on defense, I don't remember. Oh yeah, this is the guy with the uh, Apocalypse on defense, wow. I have no idea how to beat this Apocalypse on defense. Pegasus on defense. Out of time on defense. Super Scroll on defense. Superior 6 on defense. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh my god. Yes, 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 everything on defense. This guy went to uh, full turtle mode. Cyclops getting instantly booted, booted as Professor... Yes, yeah, probably yes. Yeah, I probably have to sack all the teams, yeah. And I don't know what beats Pegasus. I don't know what beats Pegasus. So this is definitely going to be interesting. And I cannot, uh, I cannot also break Kabbalah because of that scroller. Or can I? Room for him. Okay, we'll, we'll think about that. It's Russian. Just full clear. Yeah, full clear alone should be enough. Okay, so we are back for the last round of Cosmic Crucible. This time we are facing Stalker something something Russian Naima. And the something something stalker Russian name is from the something something Russian alliance. And uh, he's coming at us with a uh, level 100, 75 million TCP. He lost against uh, Pathfinder yesterday. And that's how he got a match. And uh, this is the last day, so for sure he already did attacks. Room 1, he has a 3.2 million. Extreme X-Men with Apocalypse, 3 Diamonds, Raider, so you can't ability block him. 
Then we have Pegasus on room 2. Yikes, but only 2.3. Auto time in room 3 with a 2.5. Then on room number 4, unstable energy, we have a 2.9. Super scrolls, 700 stars. Quicksilver, Doctor Doom, and Dormammu with diamonds. Yikes. Then we have Superior 6 with no diamonds on uh, Green Goblin, but everyone else uh, maxed out. Uh, and then we have a 2.9 Secret Defenders with Morgan Fay, which I have not faced this team yet, so I wonder if I can beat it or not. So yeah, we have one hour to beat this, so it's definitely going to be interesting. Here we go. Obsidian Stalker, thank you, thank you. To tap Pegasus. I'm gonna try to, to use my my Pegasus against this Pegasus. And after that we'll see. Better build. I hope he doesn't choose his Nightcrawler, because Nightcrawler should be farmable soon. You have Bifrost to, to eat Pegasus. My Bifrost is very small, man. My Bifrost is way too small. I'm just going to use Pegasus on Pegasus. Like, uh, like on CNN. Pegasus versus Pegasus. No one cares about it. If it's Bifrost versus Pegasus, then... Everyone comes out of the house to scream outside. VHS Rogue, what's up? Okay, so we are on room number two. And we're going to use Pegasus versus Pegasus because my Bifrost is very, very small. So this is going to be RNG fast. Let's see if we can get lucky. I'm going to try to remove the offense up from uh, Kestrel and pray that uh, that's enough. But this is a 50-50 chance of uh, not winning. Okay, so we go first, but going first here doesn't matter much. Or it kind of matters because like this, it's less likely that uh, Castle will one-shot one of my characters. Now we're gonna stun uh, Iron Heart. Wow, level 95 Iron Heart, three diamonds. So I'm gonna stun actually the that guy over there. Okay, we got one stun. And now we have immunity, so now we won the game, right? I think now we won the game because they have, we have immunity and they don't. And now we're going to get speed bar and they don't. Or it doesn't matter. I, I have no idea what just happened. Somehow I went first. Somehow I cleared the speed up away. Somehow I used the ultimates and I just one shot everyone. Right. Now Castle comes. Yikes. My own heart is on her knees. They have disrupted. And somehow this guy goes. What happened? What the hell just happened? Uh, let's apply trauma here. This is not going very well. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's do what? A special or basic? I guess I'm gonna do the basic to save some of these mofos. Okay, she does the special as well. My Iron Man is about to die or not. He still lives? Okay, he still lives. This this match is going very, very strange. Okay, let's do the special, I guess. This is going very strange. Okay, my Iron Man dies. I hope that pushes my rescue to go faster. A rescue is not taking a turn. Finally, she takes a turn. Let's see what happens. Okay, Iron Man with a basic, or what was that? Okay, she has trauma. They revive. Let's turn and rewind the Kestrel. Okay, we get another kill. Turn rewind on Kestrel, nice. Let's try to get another kill. Nice. So now they're going to revive uh, the, the guy over there. Let's go for another kill. Or maybe I shouldn't I should have not uh, get that kill. Maybe that was a mistake. Okay. 
She's going to revive the castle, but I don't think she can revive the other one. So now we can hard focus on her. Okay, we get those counters. We need a Kestrel ultimate like yesterday. Kestrel ultimate, please. Okay, let's get that barrier again. Uh, let's uh, do the basic again to turn in the, the rescue. Big damage, striker eyes away, maybe. Oh, the guy is getting destroyed with the counters. We get another kill. Here we go. Let's go for that rescue. Nice, the castle is gone. Ooh, that was a little bit scary. A little bit scary. Let's just use the basic. Okay, another stun. We survive. Please rescue, go. I need to heal up. Okay, I guess not. Pegasus versus Pegasus. Definitely not easy. I'm, I'm not sure what uh, helped us to win so fast last time. Better reveal spawn. Copy link address. Okay. Go and paste. Scope is changing the unlock method of Apocalypse. Need to stun rescue. Yeah, maybe that, that was my mistake. I mean, some people were saying we don't have uh, to build all the teams. I have all the horsemen build without like I don't yeah yeah Dorky Daddy is saying that uh, mobile gamer is saying that but not none of it is confirmed or true like they are just pulling shit out of their ass but uh Scope have not said anything. Now do I agree that uh, not everyone should build the, the new characters or not everyone should build the old characters? I think that would be bad. I think people should build three of the characters out of the five. But uh, but then Dark I said this on Darky Dad's video. Like it doesn't make sense that people don't have to build Morgan of Fire, people don't have to build Agatha and whatever. Like they should build three of the characters and plus two additional characters. Just what Scopely has to do is to make sure that the characters are reworked or uh, decent enough for the investment that you put on them to be decent enough. Like is Morgan Le Fay not a good plug-and-play character? Of course it, she is. And people should still build her. I agree that you should not build all five characters. That's fine. But not to build up the main characters, then what's the point? You, you want Apocalypse without getting the Horseman. It, it's so stupid. So, it, we have to look at both sides. Okay. It doesn't make okay. It might might not make sense to build all the five characters, but at least the three characters, right? Like Morgan Lafay plus two more. At least that. Like otherwise, it's it's too much. Carvan can't stand people that literally wait until the last thirty minutes to do the their CC. Yeah, yeah. I like I said, I apologize not doing the tax early, but it's just uh, because of the schedule. These daily time change is terrible. Yeah, I don't remember if I stun rescue or not. How do I play Undying versus Undying Void Knight versus Extreme? You ability block the the rogue. Ability block the rogue just in case she taunts. And then you press auto and you win. It's not like that, but it's almost. So you ability block the rogue, put them all together. You do your zombie juggernaut things, as always. And then you want to use the special of uh, Zombie Iron Man on the scroll. You need to use the special of Zombie Iron Man on the scroll. Because you need uh, to apply trauma to the scroll and that's the only way. We'll have an uh, updated Blitz code uh, next week. We have to, to Blitz for the, the Spider-Man event. So we'll have a, a new Blitz code. I have Dark Cold without Morgan Lafay and Wonga. I have Dead Seed without uh, Dark Beast. I have Gamma without Red Hulk and Abomination. I have Extreme. X-Men without Rogue. Like, in my opinion, that doesn't make sense. Like, the Envoys want to... Uh, oh no, you just build Mystic or you just build something like that. No. It's the Horseman of the Apocalypse. What's the, the logic behind getting Apocalypse and not getting his Horseman? So, it, it, or is it the Apocalypse of... Uh, 
is the horseman of the apocalypse or is the, the apocalypse of the dollar, dollar store? They should make it easier for people to obtain the characters, but at least the main characters, they need to, to get them, like... Let's just give away Apocalypse for free, because it's hurting everyone's feelings. Exactly, right? Exactly. Exactly. And, and, the, and the envoys, like... I, they are complaining all the time, such a crybaby. It's like, it's so annoying. So, Dark Dimension 7, choice characters. Photon 150 shards, Robbie Reyes 150 shards, like R Light Tigre, Mockingbird, Ironheart, Craven, Spider Slayer, Lizard, Forge, Nightcrawler. So I would go for um, two or three characters. I mean, two or three characters. Okay, those are the two or three characters that I would uh, vote for. Once again, these ones are going to be farmable. Is Lizard farmable already? I think Lizard is already farmable, right? So these are going to be farmable soon. These ones should be already farmable. These ones are farmable for sure. So I'm going to vote for the characters that are not farmable. That's it. Grinding five, eight months to Apocalypse Reward is fun too. I agree, like I agree. But for some reason, the invoice are big babies. And uh, and yesterday I had a fight with uh, that big positive geek on Facebook saying that, uh, oh, it took me one year and a half uh, to get a super scroll. And OK, so what what do you want us to do to clap or what? What exactly do you want us to do? OK, I guess. Congratulations. Red Goblin, yes or no? I think Red Goblin is the best option. Super Scroll and Dark Dimension and so on, those characters will always be easier to obtain because the newest characters will always be the best characters. You don't have Dark Dimension specific characters that you have to use. You have Val, but she's not. it's not a must-have character. There, it's legendary characters like Morgan of Fae, Whatever people want to say about Morgan of Fae or uh, Rogue or whatever, these characters are still very powerful in today's meta. And they were released like two years ago. They are still very powerful. And they have mechanics that they will always be powerful. Their stats are still top, top stats in the game. Like, So I don't understand why the envoys want people to get Apocalypse but not get the Horseman. Just Morgan of Fae alone gives 50% more health to Apocalypse. So why would you not... Uh, Use, uh, use Apocalypse with their horseman or without. You should have the option, but it should be part of the unlock method. Then what's the point of the sagas? I, I, I don't understand it really. And this and Mobile Gamer, for example, play the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. On Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, you still have to get all the characters. You still need all the characters in order to unlock the, the Galactic Legends. The, the gear is getting cheaper, like gear T17 now is raining everywhere. So what's the problem? We have way more gold than we had before. Everything is better. So why to make it... Why to reduce the difficulty of an event to, to stupid levels? I would pick Karen Hart since she is on the war store. I think that's a good take. If there was no I've mind there, I would definitely vote for Iron Heart. She's indeed very difficult to obtain. Gwenham, yeah, Gwenham and Red Goblin for sure. I got Sus in less than that. Yeah, yeah, the, the guy thinks it was a big achievement for him to get Sus in uh, one year and a half. There was some guy, I don't, I'm not sure if you guys remember that. There was that, um, I really don't remember his name, but there was that guy, he stopped playing the game, he got Apocalypse, just Apocalypse, uh, and he was already starting Dark Dimension 6, free to play in a, in a, in one year. But the guy was like super laser focused on everything. He was able to get uh, those characters super fast and the events, and he was spending power cores on the energy to get the levels. And this was before the boosted accounts, like... I don't know, let's move on. We I have to do this, I don't have much time left. 49 minutes, yikes. So, Superior 6. What am I going to use to beat Superior 6? 
there is this hybrid team. I have seen this hybrid team, but I have also have seen it fail quite a lot. What do you think, Sawoner? Is this like a safe team to, to use against, or uh, my characters might be too small? Superior 6. I like to beat Superior 6 with uh, Undying. What's the rules of this room? Flash Banger. So ultimate abilities apply stealth. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. Like most of the horse like the only horseman character that you can say that has no value is is the Archangel. The other ones still have a lot of value. Magneto still has value. Gambit still has value. Dazzler still has value. This is why I say, okay, they want to make it easier, then reduce from five characters to three characters. You don't have to reduce it to, to zero characters because that's dumb. Five Frost. Gear tier 18. Yeah, yeah, the other guys level eight, yeah. <laughs> Three and no, awesome man, awesome. I do your variation with Apocalypse and Noir. Can you use the leader to unlock Apocalypse? Yes. Yes, you can use the leader to unlock Apocalypse. Coming from Galaxy of Heroes, I have to say the community here is definitely different when it comes to the sagas. You don't see people a part of the Galaxy of Heroes community complaining about the build. Exactly, right? There we go. Exactly. When... Uh, and it, I, I also play the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes for a little bit. And I enjoy I enjoy building these characters to experience these teams and uh, and going through the the... the... the the gameplay of each of the rooms. The unlocking that uh, blue guy, I don't remember his name. The Commander Musk. I enjoy play that. Like you had to use the Ezra and some other guys. I enjoyed playing with that team. It's it, it was not my favorite team. Absolutely not my favorite team, but uh, they had their own reason to be there. And that's the thing, like Morgan Le Fay, Rogue, Hulk, Red Hulk, and so on, they have a reason to be there. They are part of that saga. So why you want... Like, like once again, is the, is the Apocalypse of the... Is the Horseman of the Apocalypse? Or is the Apocalypse of the Dollar Store? It's, it's so stupid. It's really so stupid. And once again, if, like, if Phantom X sucks, if Scarlet Witch sucks, or you remove them from the, the options. Once again, make three mandatory characters. More than five plus two more. Or you rework the characters. What about reworking the characters and make them good? Why the envoys? It's always destroy everything. Instead of a rebuild, make better. No, it's destroy everything. Make everything super generic. And uh, and that's that's better. That's better for everyone. So ridiculous. So stupid. Yeah, I think like the best option would be three characters. You need Red Hulk plus two other Gamma characters. You need Morgan of Fay plus two other of the other characters. And then you can uh, you can take uh, other two additional characters that are more generic. Okay, that's fine. But there is no reason to bastardize the the saga. It, it's bastardization. Like it's absolutely ridiculous. The difference between Apocalypse then versus now, people didn't have to build new characters. But but you don't have to build all the characters. Have you guys seen my my Cabal video? You can build a Cabal video for their kits or for their stats. Cabal is still going to be pretty decent at level 80. This thing that everyone has to build all the teams, it's not the case. It's not the case. And of course, sometimes you have to go back to build certain teams. I had to go back to build my Wakanda. I had to be go back to build my A-Force. It's normal. It's normal. 
Okay, I don't have time to... We need to finish this. I don't know what to use. I honestly don't know what to use. I need to use Cabal here, I guess. Because of... Uh, these Mofos. I wonder if Cabal... Uh, Cabal with Tangle Web. Would that be a good idea? Let's think about it. So they are going to apply the slow. Let me think about it really quick. They are going to apply the slow. We're going to apply negative effects, but he cannot get speed butter. They don't have any speed butter on spawn. We have to stun the Quicksilver. The slow should allow us to turn in them. And then just focus on the scroller. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I guess you're gonna find out. So I'm gonna be a little bit uh, spicy. I'm gonna use uh, Tango Web with the uh, with the uh, Cabal and see if we can beat this team. We have a lot of M MVPs over there, and we're gonna try to stop that uh, that uh, Vulture. I I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Let me see again if I need this team anywhere else. I could use Tango Web versus that one, but I have Hive Mind. Okay, we're gonna go like this. It should be fine. Okay, so we're gonna play a little bit crazy. We're gonna use Tango Web with Cabal, the two MVP Crucible teams, and see if this works. I have no idea if this works. We are really. We don't have time left to think about it. We just have to play and see what happens. So they all have revive once. Let's apply vulnerability. No, we're gonna flip those buffs on Dormammu since they already have vulnerability. We don't land the the slow, which which is great. And we got a massive turning wind, which is a big, big yikes. So, Dormammu is going to use his ultimate. I'm going to stun him. Okay, turning wind on Iron Patriot. We are still alive. And I'm going to remove the revive once from these guys over here. Okay, let's see. Oof. I thought that he was going to die. For a moment, I thought that guy was going to die. Okay, so let's uh, remove those positive effects from uh, Quicksilver. Dormammu is gone. Right. Scroll with his ultimate. We should be able to survive. Yikes. We got obliterated. Let's go and turn you on these mofos. Okay, please. No, she killed... Oh my god, I can't believe the Scarlet Witch killed the, um, the guy. Okay, let's use the special. Wow, that was way too much damage. And now we have offense down with trauma. That's not great. Okay, let's use the special. We have offense up. Is that going to be enough? He has 1 billion dead proofs. Scroll the special files. Okay. Let's go again with another special. Oh my god, it's not doing anything. Ultimate with Quicksilver. She's still alive somehow. Oh, this was terrible. I mean, it was... Oh, quit, quit. It was not terrible, but... Um, I think we can do better. I think we can do better here. Maybe. Maybe we can do better. So, instead of using that, let's use this. But we're going to bring uh, Omega Red, right? We're going to save my Vulture for later. Let's bring Omega Red. This is how the, the developer said we should play this team. So let's switch the position around of these Mofos. Okay, yikes. Scarlet Witch, man. That Scarlet Witch destroyed my team. Okay, let's try again. 40 minutes left. Use Proxima. Yeah. 
Let's see. Okay, so Vulture with the Rewinder. I don't have any heroes and Vulture is still going first. Like, bro, what's going on here? Am I, am I retarded or what? Why did they go first? Why did they go first? Is Vulture not affected by, by Emma Frost anymore? What? What just happened, bro? For this caralho, meu. What just happened? Why are they not affected by Emma Frost now? Is there some rule that says they are not... Uh... What just happened now? Why, why Vulture goes first? I had zero heroes. I had zero heroes and I have Emma Frost. Why is Vulture going first? against 10% off no matter what since when 10% no matter what since when So even without hero enemies, he gets 10% speed bar. Even without hero enemies, they get he still gets 10% speed bar. That's pretty ridiculous. So I have nothing to, to stop them then. Unless I use my own vulture. Okay, so I, I'm forced to use my own vulture. Okay, there we go. I don't see any other option then. I'm, I'm, I'm not even sure if I can do it. The Cabal alone, they are not strong enough to beat this team. The Cabal alone is not strong enough to beat this team. So... Proxima to stun Vulture. Proxima instead of Emma Frost. Can I still use the Omega Red or not? I feel like I kind of need Omega Red for the ability block. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, at least, uh, at least she will apply the. Yeah, I cannot, but I cannot use. Uh... Yeah, but at least uh, the Proxima will uh, do the turning wind. Yeah, but, but without. Fucking hell, man. So, is there anything I can use here? So, Proxima and Thanos. <laughs> We're gonna go Proxima. <laughs> so, there is nothing I can do.
Emma and Vulture. Yeah, I, I thought about Emma and Vulture, but... I'm not sure if I have enough damage. And there is also the ability block from... Uh... I also need the ability block from Doctor Doom. For Doctor Doom. Oh my god. Tricky team. You cannot let... Uh... Okay, here we go. So we're going to use uh, Cabal plus Proxima Nema Frost. One, uh, one million punch up. This is not going to work. There is no way this is going to work. I, I don't have enough damage. Like This is a gigantic team. Plus the revives. So Proxima goes before uh, the Vulture. Turning wind the guy. Okay. Gonna flip the buffs. A Gigantum. The Doctor Doom is gonna get pushed. He's gonna lose 50%. He's gonna gain 50%. So hopefully I can finish him. He dies, so he's gonna get the speed bar. No, he still lost the speed bar. Okay, so uh, let's remove the revive once uh, or finish him off. I guess I'm gonna play safe and just finish him off. Okay, let's delete the... The Vulture. We have a stun, he has Trauma, so let's land the stun. Great. He's going to die, so that's not good. Proxima Midnight now with the offense down. That might save us, the offense down. Yay, get up your Proxima Midnight. Okay, wow. That was very, very scary. Oh, he doesn't get speed bar. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That was very scary. That was very, very scary. Proxim I'm, I'm just going to get up. Now, because of this, I'm going to get up Proxima Midnight to gear tier 17 or something. Wow. That was scary as hell. Okay. So now we have uh, this team. Is there anything I can use? I can use here. So there is that uh, Hawkeye nonsense. Can you use like Undying? Undying with Spider-Man Noir. Is that enough? Like this? I'm not sure. My Doctor Doom is trash. Everything is trash. Okay. Let's save this team. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. So, Andrea. Yeah, Proxima, she, she was always a decent character. It's, it's just that the, the rework is so disappointing. Okay, so we're going to use uh, Undying plus Doctor Doom and Noir. In theory, we're going to use Noir to get a bunch of speed bar. And hopefully that will trigger Dr. Doom. <laughs> I have no idea. Like, bro, I have no idea. I'm going to put Noir in the middle, actually. If the zombie Iron Man dies. Like, this is more likely for them to kill some Gregs. So, here we go. Let's see how it goes. We don't have time. 30 minutes to finish this. And we still have uh, four matches left. And the Superior Six, they are not gigantic. But they are not small either. So let's see. Oh, my noir might be too big. Is my noir too big? He might be. Okay, so I think we have to apply this rub here. Is the tank right? Resisted. Okay. And we apply blind to him. I'm not sure if that helps. He has no vulnerabilities. That's kind of garbage. So let's use the, the special as well, I guess. Doctor Doom gets pushed. And please take the Juggernaut. 
Okay, no more charges. Great. Let's apply Disrupt what? On Dr. Octopus. Level 100 Dr. Octopus. Yikes. And uh, should I kill the minions? I'm not sure if I should kill the minions. But I'm going to do it. Please, Zombie Juggernaut, go. Yes. Uh, we're going to apply slow to all of them. Okay. They have death proof. I don't like that death proof. Uh, let's uh, use the basic over here. See if you can spread those bleeds. Is there anything that removes the death proofs? I'm really not sure. But uh, we're going to smash uh, and pray. That this ability does somehow. Double tap, triple tap. Okay. That guy is not blinded. I should have used my ultimate on him. That was a misplay from my part. We get a big turn wind. Let's spread those bleeds from the Craven to the other guys. Lots of mind controls. That's good for us. Wow. Everyone gets destroyed by Craven. Wow. That's crazy. That's absolutely insane. Um, let's ability block this Mofo. No. No, he's not going to revive. He's not ready to revive yet. Oh, that's so dumb. Okay, let's try this again. I misplayed it. Let's try this again. I think we have a good chance of uh, being able to do multiple attacks because my opponent has everything on defense. So we're going to try the same thing. But this time I'm going to use the, the ultimate of Juggernaut on... Uh, on Green Goblin, so he's, he gets blinded. Okay, so here we go. We're going to try Undying with uh, Spider-Man Noir and Doctor Doom. Let's see. Yeah, that Craven was super crazy. And he flips all the dead proofs on my team. So, yeah. Zug Striker. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, but the drain, the drain is not a bad idea either. But what I want to do is to right away apply this blind here. Did the blind landed? No, no blind yet. Yikes. Okay, let's uh, use the special. But at least we apply the bleeds there. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this time it works. They're they not killing any Gregs. The problem is that uh, I'm not getting any luck with the Gregs. Okay, let's apply this up to that guy. And uh, also heal block. Apply vulnerability to Craven. Okay. Oh, for the scaral, meu. Really unbelievable, man. Fucking hell. So fucking stupid, man. And of course he goes. For the scaral, meu. Really unbelievable. Yeah, I really should put a uh, striker on that uh, on that loser. It's because of the deflects. I think it's because of the deflects. But uh, the first time they didn't apply the disruptor, second time doesn't apply is the the blind. Okay, let's try again. Third time is the charm. So we're going to use undying with Noir and Doctor Doom versus Superior 6. In theory it works. In practice, we have a user uh, malfunction. The user is too stupid to use this team. Okay, let's see. So the Greg is right there. So we're going to try to apply the blind to Green Goblin. Yay, the blind landed. But that's stupid because now... <laughs> and now he's not going to be able to do damage to Doctor Doom. Okay, no. So what? He has blind... He's still able to do his passive. Okay. I mean, I hope he fails his ultimate, right? I hope he fails his ultimate. Let's apply this rub to Dr. Octopus so he cannot ability block uh, too much. And yet, okay, and they have no vulnerabilities. Okay, that's fine. So let's uh, do the explosion over here. Okay, so now we have some vulnerabilities. Let's use uh, the slow first. Let's slow all of them, do some big damage. Okay. 
Okay, now we have Striker Isolator. We should be able to finish off this Mofo. Raider, he dead. And now we have no vulnerability on the Goblin. And this guy has dead proof or not. I cannot see if they have dead proof or not. Like, if the Envoys want to do anything, why not uh, when you press here, why not on the top uh, where they have the picture of Dr. Octopus, why not show all the negative effects that they have? Why not? Is it so difficult? So I guess uh, I'm going to use the ultimate now and crush this Mofo. So even if he has that proof, uh, we should be able to double tap him, right? Uh, now he's blinded. Please tell me it's not unavoidable. It's, it's, it's unavoidable, really? Bro, this Gillian Goblin is too powerful. Okay, let's uh, smash him in the face. He still says that he's blinded. Is he really blinded? Or is this like uh, bullshit blind? I think he's not really blinded. Okay, Goblin go away. And now Lizard comes and kills my entire team. No, we are still alive. Okay, we are still alive. He still has a bunch of uh, death proofs. Let's just use the basic because he has immunity. Thankfully, we have Skirmish Eyes Await. Let's use a special Skirmish Eyes Await. And there we go. That's how you do it when you don't have a player malfunction. Yikes, they have 100% accuracy because of Spider Slayer offense up. That's a good point. I didn't remember. Okay, but it worked. It worked. So this is a great, this is actually a great way to use Undying in Cosmic Crucible. Okay, so we have 22 minutes left. Yikes. And we still have these Seeker Defenders with Morgan and Fay. I don't know how to counter that. My opponent uses just. New Warriors and the one yesterday, right? Let's see. So my opponent, yeah, he used Morgan of Fay. I used Morgan of Fay, and he just used Lizard and so on. If I try to do the same thing, it's not gonna work. So we have I've Mind. Can I stop Apocalypse with I've Mind? With Mysterio. I still didn't use my Vulture. Okay, we're gonna save that for later. Oh man, I should really use my... Okay, anyway. We're gonna do the easy way. So let's go like this. And... Um, okay, we're just gonna, we just have to pray it. Okay, so we're gonna use uh, we're gonna use new warriors versus secret defenders. This is on room number six. We're gonna use the lizard. I don't think this will work, but I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, let's see. I still have masters of evil. I still have uh, I've mind. I still have the uh, superior some of the superior six. So let's see how it goes. Vulnerability on that. Uh, Black Hat, I guess. They come with a Taunt, okay. Let's remove that Taunt. And now Morgan Lafay goes and she kills my team, right? Okay, we resisted a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Do I have any way to stop that uh, Black Hat? I'm not sure. And no one has Taunt now. Ugh. So I, I still think I have to go for uh, Robbie Rice, right? And now I could spread offense down to Black Hat. Okay. Now, Robbie Reyes, he does not have... Um, he's going to do the special. We have some immunities. So I'm just going to focus on turning winding the Black Hat. Striker has a weight on cloak. It's 20, 24. And of course, oh my god, how is it possible that he ability blocks the, the Gwen pool? Seriously. What the one character that I need, the one character that I need is the one the ability blocks. Like Scopely really turns out turns down the dial or, or tures on or down or I don't know. Scope really, really messes up with my account uh, for this shit, man. The one character that they shouldn't attack is a character that they always attacks. It's really, really unbelievable. Okay. 
So the Deadpool is going to die. I think I'm going to keep it. Because what else can I do? Holy shit. The one character that they shouldn't attack is the character that always gets attacked. It's really unbelievable. Really, really unbelievable. I don't know what happened to the town of uh, Gwenpool. We all know that Gwenpool sucks. But uh, man, this is some next level shit. Okay, this team is not super big. I'm going to just throw I've Mind here and see what happens. We also have Wakanda to clear up. Uh, we also have Masters of Evil. We also have these two Mofas over here. So maybe these two. Or save the Craven for later. Uh, we're going to use Mysterio. Let's go like this. So we're going to use the Tangle Web with Craven and uh, these other Mofos. It, it's not a good counter. <laughs> We're just going to try to land that stun of uh, Spider Weaver on the, the guy, right? We're going to try to do that. Okay, so we have one character that might remove that taunt. Nope. We have another character that removes taunt. It seems like the taunt is gone. So since the taunt is gone, let's go after their damage or their buffs. No, let's apply vulnerability to him. So we can use the, the Striker Eyes Away to with, uh, with this girl. Okay, here we go. Striker Eyes Away. Stun with Trauma. Now we are going to Ability Block this girl. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay. Could be worse. Could be worse. Let's remove that Taunt. Okay. Let's go after the, the Star Brand because he is... Uh, very super crazy on this team. Mysterio now. Mysterio now with what? Ability block or disrupt? Mysterio might be able to just one shot everyone. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Mysterio one shots one. Vulture, is he going to die? No, he survives. Okay, let's turn in one of these Mofos to Oblivion. The 2099 is definitely going to die. Vulture with the basic, that's not great. Now we need some offense ups, please. Ooh, nice. We are able to double tap there. Great. Cool, cool. We're going to peg the pegger. Captain Carter, she's the pegger, but you're going to peg her. So let's use the ultimate with Craven. Uh, yeah, that's that was not great. That was not great. But at least we have the... The Mysterio, right? Okay, the Ali Lap. Ooh, that's annoying. Okay, let's remove that immunity. Let's remove those regions. Let's remove that immunity. Ability block. Okay, let's try to one-shot that guy. She can still revive Captain America. She cannot revive the other characters, right? I'm not sure, but I think that's the case. Vulture with assist. Oh, because we have offense sub. Oh, that's great. Okay, offense subs, please. Many. Yes, show me your moves. Ooh, nice. Ooh, excellent. Let's go. Oh my god, so good. I'm so wet of seeing Spider Weaver in action together with villains. It's like that girl that uh, prefers to hang out uh, with the boys. Okay, so far so good. Let's use Wakana here. Please tell me that Wakana can beat this trash. Or should I save Wakana for later? I guess not. Okay, so here we go. Wakanda versus this. We're going to clean the house. I hope that Wakanda is faster than, uh, than them. Especially since Hard Light already did their ultimate and a special. Might not be the case. Let's apply this rub to her just in case. She still gets a bunch of speed bar, but she... Oh man, that's not good. That's no bueno. And now we have this rub to... I'm just going to rush for the damage, I guess. Wow, he was fully charged, man. That's unlucky as hell. He was fully charged. He goes after Shuri because he's a misogy misogynistic mofo. All of them have uh, all kinds of stealths and things. Not great. Okay. We get one kill. We have no charges. Please remove the immunity. Okay, Shuri dies. Yikes. And uh, now we're going to use uh, the ultimate there. I'm not sure if the ultimate does anything, but we're just going to go for it. 
greater. Give me that dead proof. Please. And now Okoy with a big ultimate. Let's go. This is how we do it in Wakanda. Wow, okay. Ghost Rider is not getting up from that. Okay, final room, final room. We have 15 minutes left. 14, 13, maybe. Let's see how it goes. I apologize not reading the chat, guys. The chat is very engaged on my stupidity playing this. But I don't have time. 10 minutes left. And I really want to finish this. Okay, so... Apocalypse. Should I use Moonstone or should I use uh, Red Hulk? Or maybe I should use Red Hulk instead of Absorbing Man. Red Hulk instead of Absorbing Man. I actually should have said Mysterio for this. Now, we're going to use Red Hulk to give more speed barrier to my Apocalypse. Uh, let's put uh, Titania, Apocalypse, Red Hulk in the middle. Okay. Looks very bueno, muy gusta. Naki wins, yes. Yes, finally those 50 million gold are coming through. Okay, so we're going to use the Masters of uh, Evil versus Apocalypse Plus Extreme. I'm scared. They are 3.2 million. They have a 3 diamonds Apocalypse. But let's see if Kang can uh, these nuts on them. It, yeah, I, I know it, it doesn't have to be adjacent to them. I, I want to, to have uh, characters with counter-attack chance next to to the Kang and to Moonstone. Just to make sure that we can land the good things. Okay, so I'm going to apply slow. Oh, he didn't remove the slow from Nightcrawler. That's not good. But we're going to apply slow there. Ooh, resisted. Everything got resisted. Uh, let's ability block uh, the the forge, I guess. Okay, we're gonna ability block the forge. I think I'm gonna rewind the night crawler if we, if I can. No, we can stun the night crawler. Stun with trauma. Then the gamut is gonna give speed bar to them. But I I really have to stun this night crawler. It, it, what? He didn't got stunned? Are you kidding me? Why he didn't got stunned? And he almost one shots my... Oh, that's great. That's really, really great. And my Apocalypse no longer has the, the stun. No longer has the charge. So here we go, big ultimate. Please tell me that you have enough just in the tank to stun that... Uh, to stun, no, to kill that Apocalypse. Yes, he does. Okay. Red Hulk died right away, but at least we had enough focus to, to finish the, the other guy. Here we go, big ultimate. They all have trauma, so the ability blocker should stay there. Wow, he didn't die, really. For real, for real. Gave me to his ultimate. What? He one shot my apocalypse, bro. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He one shot my apocalypse. What is this? Bro, 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 bro. He one shot at my apocalypse. Are you freaking kidding me? For real, for real. Man, Red Hulk is trash. It doesn't matter what people say. Red Hulk is absolute dog shit. He has no health. He has no health. So I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to put Apocalypse in the corner. Just to make sure that... Uh, That things happen. Wow, wow. For real, for real. Like, bro. No, no way, no way. What am I going to use? Mario and Fire. Oh, I can use uh, this guy, I guess. White Knight. Void Knight might be a little bit better. Wow. Wow, what was that? I have no idea. Okay, so here we go. We're going to use uh, Masters of Evil with Void Knight and Apocalypse versus Extreme X-Men with Apocalypse. Apocalypse is going to give 20% more damage and 20% more health to, to the opponent team. 
And uh, that's going to make them very, very beefy. Very, very beefy. To a degree, I'm not comfortable with. So I'm going to start by smashing this gamut in the face. Slow resisted. Okay. Slow resisted. That's great. I'm going to apply this rub to, to Forge, I guess. I have no idea. I should apply this rub to, to Gambit, but... I don't know what's going on here. Should I just let the Nightcrawler to go? Stun the Gambit to prevent any kind of crazy damage. The Nightcrawler is going to stun me. We're going to try again to stun the Nightcrawler. I'm not sure what happened. Okay, Nightcrawler this time got stunned. Okay, that's great. Gambit with a special. Doesn't ability blocks anyone. That's great. He got stunned because of Apocalypse. Great. You're going to flip... Uh, uh, less ability block the, the Sunspot now. So he doesn't give any energy. And in theory, my Apocalypse goes first, right? Okay, here we go. We're going to apply Trauma to all of them. Striker is away. Yes, please. Offense up. In the face. That's how she likes. Okay, Forge is on his knees this time. Is Striker is away enough to finish off this Forge? I'm not sure. Okay, this time Forge eats nuts. Stun the Nightcrawler. Great. And uh, now it's over. Okay, there we go. We still have uh, two minutes left to see the results. Yikes. Wow. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Okay, there we go. So we were able to full clear. This guy had pretty much everything on defense. Black Knight, Apocalypse, Super Scroll, Dormammu, Doctor Doom, Quicksilver, Superior Six. He had literally everything on defense. So I hope full clearing is going to be enough. Oh my fucking god. He wins on efficiency. Are you kidding me? How the hell he wins on efficiency? And he full clears. What kind of team this guy has? Are you for real? So 59 versus 65. 47. It, it's because of the Pegasus that I lost. No, it can be. Uses. He triple taps the room. Triple taps the room and somehow wins with more efficiency. Okay. I one shot his room. He goes with invaders and then uh, new warriors. What, two million. What? What is this? Like. So superior six alone. Okay. Stage four. Cabal or uses. No. Is this the one I use it or the, the team use it? So uses Cabal with Red Hulk. And uh, Iron Patriot, so two tap, uh, one tap. The Red Hulk with the Rewinder, okay. And then he easy one shot, easy one shot, uh, Secret Defenders with uh, Morgan of Fae on room five, okay. And then room 6, Infinity Watch, should be easy for him. No, he actually had to triple, uh, to tap Infinity Watch. And somehow he, he finished with more efficiency. 55, 53. 47, 52. 47. Man, this team really took that long to beat them. Phew. Really unbelievable. I mean, like I said, a lot of user error, right? These teams were uh, pulled out of my ass uh, too quickly. For sure, I could have played better. This one with Red Hulk, uh, 
uh, Apocalypse wasting the stun. I, I really didn't see where, where my Apocalypse used the stun. On the first match, where did Apocalypse used the stun? Man, phew. Really unbelievable. Okay, anyway. Yeah, the guy goes full turtle and he still wins. So he mirror match room one with Emma Frost and then Eternals. By Frost and then I've Mind versus Extrema. Invaders. And you guys say invaders suck, bro. Like, look at these invaders. They obliterated the the superior six. Not even a chance. Invader Invaders MVP 100 percent That's why he won. It was because of the inviters. Masses of evil, like very small masses of evil. And like, I don't understand these. So even with the bots from Ultron, unless he didn't summon the bots, because the bots from Ultron make Robbie Race go even faster because it's more targets that you have to apply the bleeds to. And then he fails Infinity Watch. Man, it's it's actually unbelievable. Watch, yeah, let's let's see that one. That's very strange. Like the bots should allow Robbie Race to go much much faster. So Morgan LaFay, she survives the attack from Kang. That's pretty decent. Like, and he summons the bots. Like, bro, he summons the bots so early. Ultron actually goes second and he summons the bots right away. And he blinds Morgan LaFay. Oh my god. He blinds Morgan LaFay. That's how he wins. He's, he's with that blind on Morgan LaFay. Oh, that's unbelievable. That's really unbelievable. Disrupt on black. What? He just gangs bang everyone. Wow, that's that's kind of crazy. Well, that that's kind of crazy. That blind from Ultron saved the day of the guy because if Morgan Lafay would attack. She would kill all the bots, apply a bunch of bleeds, remove the, the taunt from the, the guy. Wow. That was kind of crazy. Okay, so there we go. The Stalker won. Obsidian Stalker, right? You guys were saying was his name? Obsidian Stalker. Wow, that was a very impressive situation. Okay, that was kind of crazy, but at least we came up with uh, with very good teams that we can use uh, in uh, other matches. So we pretty much like one shot of most of the rooms. We just had to perfect per perfect uh, how to use the teams. Yeah, so except room six, every everything got one shot. Of. So it's not good now, but. The, the knowledge that we got is much better for the future than winning this match. It's the reality of it. Now, I might get uh, demoted, which is fine. And once again, the most important thing in, in the world is knowledge, if you get the reference. Extremely on to did great for me. Yeah, for me as well. Yeah, all the people that were saying that the extreme on, uh, on two was useless. I didn't got that impression. Ginebra, welcome back. Jonathan Marimon, Lord Richard, Comp Case. How are you guys doing today? Zoe Boy Fresh, what's up? Let's see who else joined us. We have Wonder Bucket, Ricardo Santos, Too Fast, Master Gilgamesh, Scott Smash, Flea Zip, 420. Let's go, it's almost 420. Nandito Nando, boa noite, tudo bem? One Raging Nerd. 
How are you guys doing today? Welcome back. Okay, it's Diamond Day, right? So now it's time to open those diamonds. Eva Jose, welcome back. Okay, like I said, it was not a great crucible in terms of uh, winning, but at least you got a lot of knowledge that is going to be very important. Little Lazy. The energy in this game is crazy. Yeah, it kind of is. Okay, so let's see. I, I For sure I got demoted to Diamond 3 or something. I only won uh, one match, but the knowledge that we got this week was very, very good. Okay, we are still on Masters 1. Okay, we will climb back uh, next week. No problem. Okay, let's get those diamonds. Show me those diamonds. How many we got? Only one. Yikes. Only one diamond. This is this is the problem with Cosmic Crucible. Or, I mean, Marvel Strike Force as a whole. Whether you win or lose, you pretty much get the same rewards. Which... It's okay, I guess. It's okay. It's not relevant enough to, to actually cry about it. Bobby Boucher, welcome to the chat. Shum Show, I didn't say hello to you. Welcome back, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Two out of three. Awesome, awesome. Uh, but yeah, I, I forgot the, the Spider Slay situation. I forgot that they have resistance. Let's see what you have in the story. Lots of bio gear. Oh, molecular cloth. Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky with these molecular cloths. I think what? One more week? Maximum two weeks and I can start Art Dimension 7. And we have the season rewards this week. Okay, maybe I can start Art Dimension. Maybe next week. I mean, in the next seven days. Might be able to start Art Dimension 7 within the next seven days. Most of the uniques are in the bag. Craven almost there. Vulture almost there. Lizard halfway through. So we just need a little bit of luck with the, the weekly rewards. And we are good to go. We also have the, the two Alliance War events. Zombie Juggernaut. I want those, but not yet. Oh, Sunspot. I want Sunspot to two diamonds. And after this, I'm done with Extreme. Sunspot to Diamonds, and then uh, we can uh, skip. Okay, so here we go. Let's get those credits. Sunspot, you can still be useful in different places. I might switch the Extreme to Room 4 for the offense up. Because my team is so big. But that's something that we're going to talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow will be... Not only checking out the blog, but we are also going to adjust the defense based on this week one. So I definitely want to get this sunspot to level uh, to two diamonds, two diamonds, three diamonds, not really two diamonds. Definitely. Yes. So there we go. Two diamonds sunspot. Come to daddy. Nice. Still learning from you. Thank you. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Okay, there you go. Two, two diamonds for Sunspot. Should you do two diamonds on Sunspot? No. You should do first your Sinister Six, your uh, Gambits, your Nightcrawlers. Sunspot is one of those characters that is middle of the road in terms of priority, in terms of diamonds, so... You just have to be big enough to survive. That's it. Okay, so let's take a look at the story. Let's do a quick offer review. And then we're gonna do Alliance Wars. We're also pretty close of completing the Juggernaut event. If you get lucky like VNM and pull a 30, we might get lucky. Yeah, the Sunspot Diamonds, they were given away if you got level 100 within the, the first 45 days of the level 100 season. You had to spend 200 million gold or something in 45 days. Uh, which, it, it, be, it was unreasonable for... Uh, for me, it was unreasonable. For most people, it would be unreasonable. If you could get the Diamond Apocalypse as well, or the Gold Apocalypse, I guess. But I think it was just too far away. 
you, you got him with gold. You could get him with gold if you'd get to level 100 within that uh, that time frame. Need 40 to take either Hela, Thanos, or Icaris. Oh, I would not take any of those characters. I don't remember the last time I used a Icaris. Icaris has been sitting on defense in Alliance Wars. And in Cosmic Crucible, I'm also not using him at all. Okay, so we have this offer. 65 shards plus 100, 1,000 of these. This is actually a pretty decent offer. If you don't have this guy maxed out. Where are all the free claims? Okay, let's force reset the, the website. But yeah, next time, next year, if you get level 105, it might be a good idea to to really rush for, for that new level. No data mines yet. Okay. So you guys were asking for gold offers. We have gold offers today. So we have 13 orbs for $5. This should give you around 3 million gold. Depends if you are lucky. So we're going to score that. We're going to score this one as well for the Alliance event. We have to buy five of them or, or three of them. We'll see. This one to finish off the Juggernaut. Yikes. We are almost out of allowance. We have enough for the Spider-Man India. Okay, let's get that junk. This gold offer is not as good as the other one. It's not terrible either. But I get... Um, I get um, OCD. It's, uh, you say OCD, right? I get OCD for having 30. If this was 5, I would spend, but 30, no, no way, bro. I hate to see those 30 multipliers there. But uh, $3 for 7 orbs. The other one was $5 for, uh, for 14 orbs. So it's slightly more expensive and gives me the, the OCD. So skip. Need 100 million gold. Yeah, man, me too, me too. That's why I want to start uh, the Dark Dimension 7. Wow, this is a very good offer. Holy shit. $50 for 400 T4s, 20 gold orbs, and 75 shards for this guy. That's a very good offer. Wow. That's definitely not trash. If you don't have this guy maxed out, this is definitely a good offer. Very, very good offer. Wow. Scobly really wants you to buy the, the zombie juggernaut. Okay, and beyond that, we have the typical trash offers. They are selling Iron Patriot. Not surprised. Iron Heart. Will you buy? No, no, no. No, I'm very close of getting... If it If this offer was available on Monday... On Monday, I would consider, but right now, no. No, because I'm way too close of, uh, of finishing the guy. If I spend power cores alone, that should allow me to complete the guy, so no. On Monday, this would make sense. Today, it doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to skip it, but if you, if you spend money on the game, if you don't have a zombie juggernaut maxed out, this is a very good offer. Like, you can say... $20 in T4s, 20 gold orbs, and that's going to be like $10. This one, 50 orbs, on average, you get, um, for each 5 orbs, you get uh, 10 T4s. So that's a, a, an additional 100 T4s. So you are getting around 500 T4s plus 20 gold orbs. This is a very good offer. If I had a 7 red star zombie juggernaut, yes, yeah, that's true. Tem muita coisa para fazer, não é? Yeah, sem dúvida. Okay, wow, that, that's kind of crazy. If this offer would be on Monday, Scopely, you'd get my cash, but, but no. 
not like this. You put the best offers for last, like then it doesn't make any sense to buy. Okay, that's it. Do we have any new blog or anything like that? We should have some data mines today. Still no data mines. Okay, so we're gonna do the we got we're gonna open the diamonds. The one diamond orb we have. And then we're gonna do warrior. Today we are facing one raging nerd in Alliance Wars. So it should be fun. Last chance for the character Polo. Man thing is still winning. Okay, gold orbs. Let's do C theory. Keep those Spider-Man away from me. Can I buy it twice? It's probably going to give error, right? Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, let's do C theory. Let's see if you are on a good seed. I need to get three diamonds on anyone. Okay, beast. A blue in the middle. We need Kestrel or we need um, a purple in the middle. Which is also Kestrel. Okay, no, no, no. Do I have patience to, to do more C theory? Probably not. But we are getting a nice amount of uh, gold orbs. So I'm just going to go for it. We have no patience over here. Oh, I need a lot of gold. Two diamond orbs. One dupe and Minerva. I'm done. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's see these alliance orbs. They also have a nice amount of gold. But I never got lucky on those orbs. Okay, 200. I, I guess that's not rash. 200,000 gold is definitely not rash. Here we go, last orb. Another green. Another 200k. I mean, I'm not going to complain about that, I guess. Okay, what is this? What is this orb? Basic. 16 gold orbs. Uh, okay, we can open these ones as well. Okay, we got the blue. Nice, six shards. We are getting there. And now here we go, another one. Three diamond Sylvie. Let's go. Congratulations. Okay, 10 orbs. So we are uh, 62 shards away. 62 shards. We have two more orbs to open today. Okay, here we go. Big diamonds, please. Three diamonds on Sylvia. Yeah, it could be worst. It could be worst. You don't have that offer for a zombie juggernaut? Yeah, if you already have him at 7 yellow, you probably are not going to get it. You are facing a traitor in Alliance Wars. Yeah. Yeah, it could be worse. At least the Raging Nerd, uh, he still comes to the shot and, and it's kind of cool. One diamond on Forge. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can open some big diamonds. Three, two, one, please. Show me the money. Oh, it's a blue. Oh, my God. Shatterstar. Oh, my God. You guys were complaining about your Sylvies. I got Shatterstar. Yikes. That's a real big yikes. Okay, oof, my god. Terrible. And uh, we have nothing to open. I'm gonna save those gold orbs for later. And we have two elite fives. Come on, bro. Show me the gold in the middle. We need to get more uh, credits. Okay, no. Terrible. Two diamonds on Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix is kind of one of those characters you don't want to get diamonds on. I mean, Shatterstar, we are still waiting for Havok, right? Havok next year or Havok this year? Havok needs to be legendary, right? The, since they didn't make Cyclops a legendary, they need to make Havok a legendary. It has to be the case. Okay, so Sunspot, there we go, nice. 2.2 million without buffs. 200,000 damage without buffs. I guess he buffs himself. He buffs himself in his pants. 50,000 armor and 42,000 focus. I really wish this guy had a little bit more focus. Because he's not super reliable. But anyway. And now 
The big cherry on top of the cake. Shatterstar. Uh, yes. Shatterstar diamonds. <laughs> oh my god. They used it to be so good. Really can't wait to get that rework on, uh, on X Factor. Getting Avok. Polaris rework. Have you guys watched the TV show The Gifted? There is this TV show on Disney Plus, The Gifted. Polaris, she appears there. She's actually an interesting character with green hair. So the, the show starts a little bit slow, but it, then it gets better. And I was very surprised that they didn't refresh the show for a, a third season. It only has two seasons. In my opinion, the show started off slow, but got a lot better. But it was part of Fox. And when Disney bought it, they didn't, uh, they didn't make more seasons. Okay, 13 minutes for the raids. We are doing good. Oh, what's up with this group three? Group three is slacking today. So many people trying. What? Why there are five people in one side? And Avik is slacking. Okay. Is it five people on one side or there is some kind of bug? Three people. I guess it's on purpose. Okay, anyway. We'll see. We have two new good players coming this weekend. Very excited. We're going to have Comp Kais. And we're going to have another secret player. And we're going to start off the raid season very strong. We'll be skipping one raid. And then make sure that uh, we crush uh, next raid. Cold Snap is leaving us. He's too good for us. So bye bye. Cold Snap is leaving. Avic is also leaving because he he can't keep up. He, he, he was saying that he got another job. Can't keep up. And Cold Snap asked to leave. Yes, please. Pull it to diamonds on X23. So the problem that we have right now is that uh, you only have six rooms. You only have six rooms. And uh, if you are not double tap uh, all the rooms, you, you don't have opportunity to use X23. So it's not like X23 is a bad character. No, she's great. The problem is that you don't have anywhere where to use her. Whether it is Alliance Wars, whether it is Cosmic Crucible, you just don't have enough opportunities to use that character. Which is sad. I enjoy the gifted. Nobody I know has watched it. It's very strange, right? No one has watched that TV show. But the TV show is pretty good. The the first season, the first like four or five episodes were a little bit slow. But it, then it really ramps up. Second season ended very strong. And then they, do, they don't make a third season. They absolutely end on a cliffhanger and then there is nothing there. What? Like what? Who's the secret player? Art Grave? <laughs> if only. Oh my god. Someone with lower TCP than you? No, VNM. No. VNM is our um, mascot. He's the, he has the lowest TCP. So he's the mascot of Alliance. Okay, let's see who how you guys are doing in Alliance Wars. Yeah, it would be very interesting if it would be Artgrave, but no. I watched The Gifted, Runaways. Runaways I haven't watched yet. Pretty unnoticed. Yeah, I mean... I guess... Uh, I really can't not, I cannot understand. Like It was back in the day when Fox had all the rights. And they mentioned some of the characters that, I mean, they are not super popular, right? Like, no one is uh, making a line to, to talk about Polaris. But uh, they talk about X-Men, but they, can, they cannot talk about specific X-Men. It's strange. It's strange. It was at a time where Fox had all the rights for those characters. So they, they should have really capitalized on... Uh, on some cameos or something just to put more attention on the TV show because it was pretty decent 
two hours two drops or 15 awesome man me too i got to two, 215 yesterday okay let's see let's see what can we attack we have one bridge oh g is attacking okay great so let's see their setup cargo bay med bay engineering adjacent so where is the engineering so the engineering is under the security is adjacent so the security is down of the reactor so if the security is down we'll have to play this on a very interesting way so the security will be affecting the one in the middle so we have to destroy the engineering probably security under the reactor okay we'll see after the bridge is gone we'll see i hope uh, is he going to use the proper team so when you are facing secret defenders with uh, chavez you want to use uh, underworld i hope he doesn't uh, overkills it two diamonds on mysterio oh, i'm thinking about uh, that's the next character I want to get to two diamonds, maybe even three diamonds. Three diamonds on Mysterio, really considering that. Yeah, that might be next month's goal to get three diamonds on Mysterio. So we have this escape from Kylne coming again. I was checking all the data mines. I was checking all the JSON files and all that uh, nonsense. All the information we have from Escape from Kylne is the same that we had the last time. It's the same that we had last time, so we'll see. We'll see if they are going to, to change it or not. If they don't change, there is a very high chance that Gambit will be still the final reward. How exciting would that would be? Gambit has the final reward again. Okay, so we have no security. So we're going to blow up uh, this room. And the armory is in the middle. Okay. I guess we can go after the armory. And they have what? Angar down. So the anger is down. So yeah, it makes sense to destroy this room entirely. We have one infestation. Let's go after that. Here we go. Oh, we already have the team selected even. Okay, ooh, my, my team is too big now. Hey, VLA, what's up? It seems like uh, you are going to start the Dark Dimension 7 without Apocalypse and Sus. Yes, yes, that's the plan. We'll see. We'll see. Depending on the rewards of the Zombie Juggernaut event, uh, we'll see if I'm going to use uh, Apocalypse or not. I almost have the Astral Energies that I need. But if I don't get enough to get up Apocalypse, I'm going to get up Val. If I get enough for Apocalypse, I'll get up the um, Robbie Rays. If I don't, I'll get up Val and, uh, and some other Mofo. Okay, let's smash these Mofos over here as well. Okay, Spider Slayer. Big damage. Okay. It's over. Lady Electronaut, Gear Tier 18. Let's smash. Basic with uh, that guy. I like to use the basic there with Shocker. Because the... Um, the Swarm... If the Swarm is very big... It can be scary. Okay, so here we go. Special with that guy. Lizard with a big damage. And now Shocker with another basic. Game over. I was just dying to destroy. No, no, no. Undy you only use uh, Undying versus Scroll teams. Use Undying versus Scroll e Extreme or Scroll Secret Defenders. You just. You just avoid the Undying versus the uh, 
maybe underworld here or uh, weapon x let's use weapon x okay, weapon x where are you at okay weapon x versus symbiotes plus noir plus fire starter this might be dangerous if the noir was bigger this would be very dangerous $100 gold calendar pop up. I have not seen any of that. Okay, let's ability block that girl over there. We have defense up. If this was on the security, this would be very dangerous. If this would be on the security, very, very dangerous. Okay, so we're going to go after the red goblin. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's turn away these morphos. Uh, let's go after Carnage now, I guess. We have to use the stun on uh, Red Goblin. So he goes away and doesn't revive. Great. Omega Red with a big ultimate. Here you go. It's a part of the Soviet Union. Yes, please. Let's go after Firestar before she does anything funny. Noir dies, great. Two diamonds on Ronan the Accuser, let's go. Congratulations to Quick Draw. The Kree Empire, almost as good as the Soviet Union. There we go, easy. Of Nazare, welcome back. How are you doing today? Sixty-six million gold for one hundred dollars. I mean, that's a. Is that for real? Over 28 days. Ooh, it, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, let's see. What beats this? I don't remember. Can I like that see these morphos? I can probably okay, I'm gonna no I can't underworld them. Oof, that would be a big mistake. I would be the noob of the year if I would uh, underworld this. So I'm thinking about uh, Dead Seed with Neymar to turn you them to Oblivion. So you're gonna blind Cloak and Dagger, right? Then Neymar and uh, and these other Mofos should be able to destroy them. Okay, I'm not sure if this works. Guess you're gonna find out. Five dollars for three million gold. Yeah, the good offers are usually fifty dollars for twenty million gold. Yes. So one hundred dollars for sixty million gold. We can do the math for that in a second. Okay, so we're gonna use uh, Dead Seed with Nightmare versus Pegasus with the Clock and Dagger. I'm not sure if this works, but I guess we're gonna find out. Archangel should slap here. We should be able to apply blinds to all of them. I'm going to try to focus on... Uh... What? They go before... The... Fucking hell, man. Seriously. That's so fucking stupid. So without Psylocke, Magneto never goes first. And uh, luck, lucky me. Lucky me they got... Uh... Blind on everyone. Lucky me. Okay, let's see if uh, Neymar carries. Please, Neymar, you need to carry this. We need to carry this. 
Okay, so let's flip all of those buffs. We have offense down. He doesn't flip shit, bro. He doesn't flip shit. Are you for real? He doesn't flip shit. Man, Nemor is, is garbage. Really garbage mode. And she doesn't die. It's, fuck, that's caralho, meu. Unfucking believable. Can you do a video on the water? I can do it, but uh, I'm going to be honest. The water meta defense, it's very diverse now. Very, very diverse. Man, that, that was so stupid. So without Psylocke, Magneto doesn't go before them. He gets 60% speed body. But he's slow as hell. That's why he... Fuck, that's a And then Neymar, he doesn't flip anything. If you flip the buffs... Then it would be easy. Okay, so I guess I'm going to use a force here. Okay, we're going to use a force versus Pegasus with Cloak and Dagger. We should have enough resistance and speed to go before them. And uh, hopefully a force will be better than uh, Neymar flipping buffs. So let's remove that offense up from uh, Castro. We get some negative effects, that's great. That should speed up uh, Jessica Jones a little bit. A less ability block uh, the girl over there. One of them. Okay. Blind on these mofos. Nico Minoru has something I don't like, which is... Blind. She, she has immunity and blind. Does this make sense? She has immunity and blind. Immunity and blind. Great. Is this unavoidable? No, it cannot be dodged. So if I do this now, she's going to fail. Do I have additional accuracy? I don't know if I should use this ability now. I think she's going to fail it. How, the, how is she as blind with immunity? So fucking stupid, man. How she has immunity and blind at the same time. Okay, at least it seems that Kestrel also got blinded. Okay, big ultimate with the photon. We are not doing any damage over here. Uh, let's ability block uh, rescue again. Uh, ultimate. Uh, let's apply disrupt. She gets the taunt. Okay. Let's see if we can ultimate with Jessica Jones to remove that stealth. Yes, we can. Great. Striker is away. Let's go. Flip those buffs on Kestrel. Okay. Speed bar, please. Striker is away. Yikes. More energy. Okay, great. At least a force is a is a very good team, but uh, I'm I'm still questioning how she got blinded if she had immunity. We'll see. I'm zero. Yes, I'm gonna save some attacks for the, the armory or the security or something. But uh, I'm streaming now. I'm not gonna stream in one hour, so I have to do the attacks now. Let's see. Extreme with uh, Doctor Doom, okay. 
I'm not touching that. Let's see what else we have. Extreme with Doctor Doom. That's so. No, bro. Like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy this team. So we're gonna use Underworld to beat uh, Extreme. Let's do it. 1.5 million punch up or something. Let's see if it works. Am I getting any sleep? I'm still not getting any sleep. The baby is still in born and I'm not getting any sleep. So I can't imagine when the baby shows up. Okay, let's remove those evades from uh, Forge. No, we, we didn't mind. Okay, so we're gonna be able to block this Mofo. Disrupt on Forge. Oh, I love that. Really like that. Okay, so let's go with those big blinds. Great. Blind to everyone. Remove the taunt. Doctor Doom is pretty much dead at this point. Let's summon the minions. Safeguard. Okay, we need to start chipping away that uh, forge. Uh, let's see if we can one shot him right now. Ooh, almost. Okay, smash. Yes. Doctor Doom takes a turn. Yikes, that's scary. Turning wind on the minions. Now she has. Ooh, I should have stopped that safeguard. Okay, let's see if we still have a chance. We are stuck behind that taunter. Let's hope that uh, Mr. Negative reminds himself that uh, he can take a turn, right? Mr. Negative, don't forget, you can take turns. Please don't kill everyone. Yikes. Okay, we are still alive. Please, Mr. Negative, take a turn. Okay, Kingpin is still alive. Let's see if we can push Rogue. Down to Mr. Negative, like, bro, seriously, take a turn. Like yesterday. Wow, finally, okay. So Dr. Doom is gone. Rogue is going under stealth. Gonna stun the Gambit. Might be too late. Might be too late. Kingpin with a basic assist, remove that speed up. Come on, Kingpin, you can do it. You can do it, bro. Okay, give me those buffs. Now, uh, Kingpin is getting the art focus. Of... Shiza. Shiza, Shiza. Should I cancel? I think I'm going to cancel. Because I could have uh, absolutely have done this a lot better. Fucking hell, what happened? Usually this is a very easy match with uh, with Sunspot. Let's try again. He's Mr. Negative, so he's the opposite. He doesn't take starness. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Fred Alfair, welcome back. That match should have been very easy. Okay, we're gonna try again. This time I'm going to attack Rogue first, push her below 50. So we can um, stop her from uh, taunting. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. Maybe kill Rogue first instead of uh, Forge. Okay, Forge lost the, the thing, so that's good. So that means you can ability block him. Please land ability block, okay. So we're gonna apply the blind to Gambit and to Nightcrawler. Please remove the taunt, bro, like seriously. Let's get those minions. And now we're gonna rush for Rogue, so she doesn't have the chance to taunt. Okay, please delete her. Big damage, stealth. Skirmish eyes away, to let's go. Let's finish her off. 
Okay, she's gone. Counter attack, Doctor Doom is gone. Great. Now we can focus on the forge. Let's go another one. GG. Nightcrawler now with his stun. He went after Taskmaster. Look at that mofo. You can between the special. Counter attacks for days. Remove the stealth. Not yet. He'll block on that guy. Okay. We need to stun him. Stun. Oh, but now he has safeguard and that guy is still in stealth. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. Mr. Negative with his ultimate. My Mr. Negative is also very small. He's like 80, 15 or something. So that's something I should definitely avoid. Basic. Another basic. Too much drain. Basic. And now we just have to smash auto. Smash auto and win. Yeah, Gambit he gets blinded, but he can still do one uh, one attack. Okay, there you go after Nightcrawler with all those counters. And uh, there you go. Pretty easy. So, you just have to attack Rogue first. Rather than Forge. <laughs> yeah, smash the auto like a boss. Absolutely. Why doesn't uh, bang for your buck it gives you bang for your buck? Which is the bang for your buck? I don't remember. Oh, the the miles the milestones on the website. The milestones on the website, right? It's because it is the anniversary edition, and supposedly. The Anniversary Edition is better. But the Anniversary Edition is actually absolute garbage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I thought it was going to end last week, but it didn't end. So in the past, you'd spend $100 and you'd get like 1 million gold and power cores. You could also get like 50 or 100 power cores. Now you get these garbage orbs, which you cannot open because we don't have the open now button. So it's like anniversary edition, but it's it's worse than what you had before. It's so trash. And it has been going for almost one month. Like just the amount of power cores you lose. It's crazy. Is it purple alliance? I don't think it's purple alliance. I, it's a uh, raging nerd alliance for sure. Not sure if purple is here as well. Let's see. Jake the Snake, yikes. Foo Fighters, Commander Troy. Commander Troy used to be here as well. No, the purple, I think, is in, in the other alliance. Something similar, but not this. Purple is on Anomaly Detected. Ooh, he is the mascot of Anomaly Detected. Okay, I have nothing to attack here, so we're going to skip this for now. Let's do some raid attacks. What is this? Inbox. Oh, there we go. Nice. Let's see if you get uh, one step closer of Dark Dimension 7. Cable, please. Okay, cool. Iron Patriot Shards. So this is 25 shards. Mm. I need 10 more. 10 more shards for Iron Patriot. Decent amount of gold on this event. Okay, let's see. What do we need from the these? I need some Miasma to finish the, the Robbie Rays. Astral Energy would be nice too. Three purple, okay. Nice, okay. So Astral Energy for Apocalypse. This one for Kestrel. And this one for literally no one. 
Fortify the Chromium only for global characters. That's not great. And I already have eight of them. Scobly really wants me to get up my Quicksilver, I guess. But you're gonna save that Fortify the Chromium for uh, something in the future. Purple with his old account. From what I heard, the Purple Sticky gave his old account. I mean, he gave his, his real account for, for some other guy. From what I heard, it's some other guy now playing with his account. So, yeah. Plans for Dark Dimension 7. So, yeah, like I was saying, if I get enough gear to get up Apocalypse, I'm going to get up uh, Robbie Ray's. If I don't get enough gear to get up Apocalypse, then I'm going to get up Val and Firestar. Val with this Alliance event should be completed. But the Robbie Ray's would bring me more benefits in other game modes. So we are on this situation that we have to wait and see what happens. Apocalypse just has one set of mini uniques. So yeah, if I get up Valor, I will get up uh, the Firestar and skip Apocalypse. Otherwise, get up Apocalypse, skip uh, Val. Three shards for Zombie Juggernaut from one orb. Awesome, man. Awesome. Congratulations. Push it for 90% rewards? No, not yet. Not yet. It's not super important right now. Anyone at gear tier 19? No. No. No, everyone is very close, but... So close so far. It's one of those things everyone is... Everyone is close, but not close enough. Tony Sweet, welcome back. My arena resets in 10 minutes. My arena resets in 10 minutes. Uh, so yeah, in terms of tech characters... Where is Vulture? Wow, my Vulture is so small, really? So Vulture, one set of uniques, he needs two. But the Hammer Tech, it's almost done. So Hammer Tech almost done. So he's almost ready. Lizard, 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 Lizard. Lizard is almost done as well. He only has one set of uniques, but the centerpiece is almost done. Robbie Ray is the same thing. He has all of those miasmas ready to go. So 16 out of 18 miasmas. Uh, then I'm going to take Craven. Craven also has 12 out of 18. Black Knight, he also has 9 out of 18. So a lot of characters already have uh, a lot of the centerpiece uniques. I could take Forge or Zombie Juggernaut, one of them. 11 out of 18. And as soon as you are done with the uniques, you just spam the store to get the, the normal gear and the mini uniques. Yeah, I, I strongly believe like, that with the, the Raid Season rewards, plus the War event, plus the Zombie Juggernaut event, I should be able to start Dark Dimension 7. And uh, everyone that has done Dark Dimension 7, they say that you need the Apocalypse or Scroll. I mean, in in that mindset, if you have Val, Val should also work, so... We'll see. Tony Sweets with the Dono, thank you very much for the support, very appreciated. Let's make it rain. Ricardo is in the house, shaking it for that dollar dollar bill, y'all. Why Vulture Raider? Depends of the, the game mode, or depends of the match. Sometimes Skirmisher, sometimes Raider, sometimes Striker. Geos, what's up? Welcome back. Yeah, yeah, we, we faced a lot of uh, a lot of interesting teams. My opponent last room, he had everything on defense. So we had to come up with, uh, with good teams for offense that we'll be using next week. 
This week we went one for two, two losses, one win. But the, the data that we gathered was very important. This data is definitely going to help uh, in uh, future matches. How's the wife? Uh, she's okay. I'm a little bit pissed off at her. She has to do some tests. And depending on the result of the tests, they might force her pregnancy to start like uh, the labor to start tomorrow or next week. So she, she was saying that she wants to sabotage the, the results on purpose. So she has to labor faster. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm a little bit pissed off about it. If the kid wants to be there for another week, let her be for another week. Next Friday is 420. Let her born next Friday or Saturday. Next Saturday, 420. It's the best day for her to, to be born. My birthday is on uh, Halloween. Her birthday would be on 420. Then we just, have, we just need to have another kid on May the 4th. The art reason with pregnant woman, yeah. Yeah, th that's true. Where am I at the Zombie Juggernaut event? I'm actually not uh, on a great place. So I'm pretty close of getting all the milestones, but uh, damn, uh, people are going crazy on this event. So I still have to win more war battles. 12,000 more points. But uh, but still very far away from uh, top 1,000. That would be the goal, top 1,000. But people are really going crazy on this event. Until I get the the zombie jogger now to to seven stars, I think I will have no chance. Kirill, what's up? Welcome back. How are you so high on that event? Yes, because of the six star zombie juggernaut, yes. And I have been spending a lot of power cores on the on the event as well. 420 is also the arm wrestling super heavy title. <laughs> Let's go. A lot of things happening on 420. Black Knight, Captain America, Peggy, Apocalypse would be far decent. You cannot, uh, you cannot use Apocalypse on Global. Apocalypse on Global, no way. Tony Sweet, thanks for another dono. Very, very appreciated. Wow. Level 100, that big Zugs. Yes, yes, tomorrow, tomorrow. We'll get there. That might be one of the reasons why I lost Cosmic Crucible today. It's because my Zugs was not level 100. Okay, five minutes for the, the thing. Let's see how we are doing in water. Yes, yes. Yes, cores for energy and cores also refreshing the nodes. You need to refresh the nodes at least one or two times. So, yeah. Why are we attacking the anger? Who, who marked this shit? Stop this shit. Like, bro, 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 stop. Stop this shit. Why the fuck they, they, they are attacking the Angar? Really? Seriously? They have nothing there. It's a trap. We have to explode the engineering so you can attack the armory and then uh, pierce their security and then the cargo bay. It's a trap. Jesus fucking Christ. Seriously. It's a trap. Trap. Right there. It's a trap. Uh, the engineering is marked. Like, why is no one, no one attacking engineering? It's marked. Four teams. No one can attack these four teams. We have to go through the engineering, go in the middle, attack their armory. After the armory, we go or to the security or to the barracks. We should go for the security. And, and then we, we attack their cargo bay. It's not hard. 
This is a trap. We faced the sim something similar last week. Whenever they have the reactor, do you always have the, the cargo bay under the reactor? It's something that everyone is doing. And uh, and it's what they are doing for sure. So you have to go through the engineering and go there. Like you can see if the character if the what's adjacent here? Armory Angar. If the hangar is down, then the armor is next to them. So you have to go for the the armory. Red Skull Elider, welcome back. Uh, yes, I'm doing the 50s, yes. Yesterday I did 100s because I was very close to a orb. So I'll do 100s only if I'm very, very close to a orb. Wow, rank 9. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can catch up. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for uh, for attacking early. Oh, nice. We we removed that uh, taunt right away. Turning one on black cat. It doesn't work. Oh, we can ability block. Oh, that's even better. Ability block the hard light. Apocalypse with his ultimate. Can we survive? Well, he's the one that can survive. Okay, let's apply expose to hard light so she can't uh, do the thing. Let's stun this guy. Scroll dead. Smash the girl. Let's go. Auto. Okay, she still got... What? She got taunted, but... Did she have safeguarded or not? Yeah, I, I thought I was doing the marks. Like, if I'm online, I should mark. If I'm not online, anyone else can mark. But there, there is usually a trap. Can you attack this guy? Maximum effort. You always have to. This is for everyone. It's it's not uh, when when you look at a room, you always have to see what what's adjacent. If they have defense up, that means the the engineering is is adjacent. So the engineering doesn't matter. If they have something else, the armory, then you have to attack it. Okay, this is looking spicy. Black Cat already lost her uh, death proofs. Interesting. Okay, let's remove that taunt to see if he can. I actually am not sure about it. I think I'm going to get clapped by this. My Apocalypse gets stunned because he, he stuns himself. Great. Goblin now with his ultimate. Oh, this is going to be very, very bad. Can we ability block that Apocalypse? Yes, we can. We have just a few seconds to win. Might not be possible. Scroll dies. And Apocalypse resists the ability block because why not? Apocalypse resists ability block. Great. And there we go. We cannot win. Yikes. Battle pass or strike pass? Oh man, I don't know. If... I would say both. I would say both. I know it's tough, but uh, I mean, the Cosmic Coast Rider. If you already have him at 5, skip. If you already have him at 5, skip. Uh, the If you don't have Zombie Juggernaut maxed out, I would really focus on Zombie Juggernaut. Very, very good character. I ability block of the Nightcrawler, not Apocalypse, really. So, I mean, what do you need more? Zombie Juggernaut or uh, Power Cores? I think uh, I think as a whole the strike pass is usually better, but uh, but Zombie Juggernaut is a very important character. I ran into better rebuild in RTA. He had five red stars, Mephisto, 700k power. Yikes! 
It's not fun to play against Mephisto, right? It's not fun to play against Mephisto. Mephisto super OP. You don't need power quarters. Ghost Rider is at 4 stars. So, I mean, the Ghost Rider is going to be necessary for the next Legendary. Is it going to make a huge difference having a, a 4 star uh, or a 5 star uh, Ghost Rider? Probably not. But uh, Zug's also at 4. Ooh. I'm not sure. I'm a big fan of Zombie Juggernaut. The Cosmic Ghost Rider, apart from the legendary value, is actually not very good. So, I don't know, man. No, Cosmic Ghost Rider is really garbage. He's very disappointing. 3,000, nice. 50 shards away. Can we do it? How many days do we have left? So I need to get him to five. I need to get him to seven stars until Saturday. Oh, can I do that? I'm actually not sure. Damn, I need to get him. Okay, I guess uh, I guess I have to spend 600 cards per day. Because I, if I don't get him until um, Saturday, I cannot use him at 7 stars in Alliance Wars. And that's 12,000 points. And since we have uh, a few power cards extra, Let's use that opportunity then. Oh, this is going to be tight. Getting this guy to to seven stars until uh, until Saturday. Oof. Not sure if it's going to be possible. Okay, here we go. Let's open another orb. Three to one, please. Something not blue. Oh, green. It's not blue, I guess. 50 shards away. 50 shards away. Oh, that's going to be very close. That's going to be very, very close. I'm actually a little bit concerned about that. Man, that's going to be very, very close. I need to get him to 7 stars until Saturday. So I have tomorrow, Friday, and then Saturday, and I have to attack in Saturday. Two days left. Not sure if it's going to be possible. Yeah, I, I I got a lot of stars for him uh, on the first time the event was around. The first time the event was around, I spent 600 quarters. I spent 800 quarters. 600 on energy plus 200 for refreshers. Yeah, 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 yeah. So two days left. One good seed and could save the day. So that's going to be a total of six orbs. Six orbs. Average of five, 30 shards. So I need at least one big pull to get me anywhere near that. Your diamonds orbs were trash today. What did you pull, Ryan? Welcome back, by the way. 
I got two 15s yesterday, so yesterday was my lucky day. Seven red stars, Nakia and Yelena Belova. Ooh, my God. Yikes. I got one diamond on Shatterstar. And that, that's it. That's all I got. Shatterstar. Yikes. But Yelena Belova is definitely worse than, uh, than Shatterstar. Better luck next time. Next, th next Thursday. Hopefully, 420. <laughs> Next Thursday before 420, hopefully the luck will be better. Okay, let's see if you can attack the, the armory of the guys or not. We are facing one Raging Nard, Commander Troy, and Ruin Lord that used to be in our alliance. No one is attacking. Why no one is attacking the engineering? Is it engineering phobia or something? Engineering phobia. They are afraid of engineers. Only the ones from the movie Prometheum, right? Oh, speaking of that, might watch that movie again today. Still waiting for that uh, new... Alien movie that got delayed. Uh, let's do the thing here. Twenty twenty-seven. One, two. So guys, don't forget that next week we have a campaign energy event for the new Spider-Man where you need to spend campaign energy, you have to blitz, and you also have to spend isolate energy. But if you don't care about the, the Spider-Man, Peter B. Parker, you don't have to go full try hard on it. If you already bought the offer, you probably can skip the, the event entirely. Ever played Fallout games? No. Is the show good? I think if I would watch the show, maybe I would play the games. The trailer is out, Alien Romulus, yes. I have not watched the trailer yet. Sometimes the trailers, they show too much. But, uh, but very excited for it. And Milky, she really hates the, the Alien movies, but I'm a big fan. Especially the, the OG ones. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna jump. Since they already did the, the mystic nodes, we're gonna jump to the tech nodes again. I should get my Kestrel to level 100. It's Kestrel to level 100. And this, let's see. War Store. Can I get that Iron Art, please? Yes, let's go. Finally, Iron Art. Let's go. We're gonna get Iron Art uh, a little bit higher, no? Damn, this Iron Art was very hard to farm. You can finally save the, the war credits. Okay, where are you at? Wow, that, that took a very long time. They have been farmable for such a long period of time. And I'm gonna take her to, to 17. No other character really benefits of the Vibranium. And uh, watch Panda Pool coming next week or the week after and requires Vibranium. Okay, there we go. 17, that's enough for her. So, yeah, it, it's uh, watching scary movies with Erna Milky, it's. Uh, it's not funny. She's scared all the time. She's always screaming. It's even at home, right? If it's on the cinema, I get it. But even at home, she screams like hell. Uh, 
<laughs> Watching, for example, the Saw movies. Oh my god. It was not fun. It was not fun. Bart, what's up, Bart? Welcome back. Oh, nice. Gold orbs. Yes, please. It was not fun watching the Saw movies with her. Jump all the time, uh, scream all the time, and then she, she's grabbing my hand all the time, like... Fallout Show is man. Just more of the same modern audience stuff. Brave standing girl fighting post-apocalyptic patriarchy. Yikes. So, like I was saying, I was watching The Gifted. They have powerful girls, but it's not only powerful girls, right? And that's that's what I don't like uh, about these modern audience movies and TV shows, is that it's only the girls that are powerful. The guys are never powerful. Like the Daredevil now gets one-shotted by Echo, like... Bro, seriously? <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous, if you ask me. How do you clear the second node with a small Pegasus? Uh, we'll see, we'll take a look. My trick is using all my characters as skirmishers. The same thing, yeah, it's super annoying. Aliens is not a good movie for pregnant. <laughs> no, the the alien she never watched it with me. We were watching the saw. Can you imagine watching saw pregnant? Ooh, yeah. Let's let's. So without spoiling, without spoiling. Wow, that X Men ninety seven yesterday. I don't want to sound like a pussy, but uh, it almost made me cry. Almost. It almost made me cry. That that episode yesterday was very, very tough. Damn. And uh, I heard some people saying that uh, they already have confirmed three seasons of X-Men 97. I hope that's true. I hope that tru that's true. They said it was going to be SJW because the, the director was black and gay or something. There were a few, like, on the first few episodes, there was a little bit of uh, some references that, that you could get in a different way. But damn, that TV show is very, very good. If you guys are not watching X-Men 97, there are certain ways you can watch it for free. I definitely recommend. If you never got into the X-Men because you, you started watching Marvel because of the Avengers, Watch the, the, the old TV show and watch the new one. Very powerful stuff. That was something else yesterday. Man, it was very, very tough. Little Falker with the Dono. Let's go. Let's make it rain. Thank you very much for the support. Wow. There is a 28 day gold for $100. Good deal. Yeah, so we, we will we'll do the math in a second. We'll do the math in a second. I have not seen this offer myself, but a few of you were talking about it. It might just be for some people. The Morgan Lafay episode. <laughs> That's a good way of not spoiling it. Yeah. Is Shogun, Shogun good? Okay, I'll try Shogun. I'll try Shogun today. Okay, we will talk about that offer in a second. Let me just do the second node. So, the secret for me to beat these nodes with a, a small, sort of small team is having Skirmisher on Rescue, on Iron Art, and on uh, Dark Hawk. Dark Hawk Raider, like, is Dark. The damage of Dark Hawk does not matter. I mean, in welcome back. How are you doing? But is Shogun based on, on the games? Isn't there a game with the same name? Gentlemen on Netflix. I don't have Netflix at the moment. Yeah, yeah. We were just talking about it. Uh, I mean, in, I enjoyed it, but it was painful, man. It was really painful. 
No spoilers, no spoilers, don't spoil it. Okay, so yeah, without these skirmishers, you have a decent chance to remove the towns. So you can see one of the towns was removed, or not yet, maybe not yet. Okay, let's attack the other guy. Okay, and we're gonna attack the guy with the, the vulnerabilities. Oh, we failed to clear the... We failed to clear the... The town. Okay, no problem. Shogun is based on a book. I think there is a game with a similar name. With, uh, with like samurais and things like that. Or am I making like some confusion? Okay, let's use the special. Man, I'm getting very unlucky today with uh, removing the towns. Okay, let's use the special here. No. Finally remove the town. Too. Just in time to get destroyed. Okay, special. Let's go after uh, Death Pool. Let's finish off Death Pool. We need to apply the slow. I usually ability block this girl, but because we are stuck behind that taunt, it's not going to be the case. So let's apply vulnerability to those Omega Reds. Uh, Chris, please, she's in the in the hospital. She's in the hospital. She has to be under observation because she has some uh, some problem. I think it's called ICP or something, which is the the bile from the liver. It's going to the intestines and it's being absorbed on the bloodstream, and it's causing her some itchiness problems. And uh, and yeah. She has to be under observation just in case the it spreads to the placenta and affects the kid. Even that she was supposed to give birth uh, next month, uh, she might be forced to, to do it earlier. Famous books about Japan and English guy. Okay, so there you go. That's how I beat these nodes. I have all these guys as a skirmisher. And uh, it works very well. Sometimes you get lucky and remove the taunt right away. Other times you don't, but it still works. In my opinion, having this Mofos as a skirmisher is still the best way to beat this node. With a fairly small team. I also switch to the position to have the biggest characters in the middle. So that's Rescue, Kestrel and Iron Man. And I also have a big Iron Man, which carries together with Kestrel. No data, no data mines yet. No data mines yet. We're going to double check here. No data mines yet. We should have some data mines about the escape from Kylna, but maybe just in two hours from now. Is she in the chat? Man, I, I can't believe that X-Men is getting three seasons. If they keep if they stay as good as they are now, it's very good. Okay, so where is this gold offer that you guys are talking about? Store. The web store is lagging for me. Every show that is about uh, feudal Japan has at least one. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Japan doesn't discriminate against white guys, right? Okay, so Golden Fortune. So for 1,000 Ultra Quarters, which is the equivalent to $100, you're going to get 66 million gold. 
plus orbs or uh, this is already counting the orbs is this already counting the orbs or without the orbs so nine uh, two four eight uh, ten uh, twelve uh, 14, 16, 17, 18, 21, 22, 23, 25, 30, 33, 35, 38, 39, 40, 41, 41 plus 56 61 65 okay 66 million gold plus the orbs 66 million gold plus the orbs how many orbs so 15 28 orbs 28, 29, 39 orbs, 49 orbs, oof, forty nine orbs, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know, for me, this, this makes some sense. The price point is high, $100. So on average, 98... Uh, let's see, 49 orbs. So that should be around uh, 80 million gold. 80 million gold for $100. So 80 million gold. Eighty million gold. They usually uh, so eighty million gold divided by three million gold times five dollars. So I mean, uh, we are talking about uh, you are getting one hundred and fifty. $150 of the best offers for gold. $150 of the best offers for gold. So you are getting $50, $50 worth of gold for free. But this is based on the best offer. This is based on the best offer. If you base it on the normal offer, we have 80 million gold divided by 2 million gold. 40 times $5, so $200 worth of gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 4 million gold per $5. It's, it's well above the average, and depends if you are lucky or not. If you get lucky and you pull a few 1 million orbs, it can get around 4.5 million gold per five dollars yeah the gold from the passes is great the gold from the passes is great but for example last uh, time uh, for me this might make sense because i i wasted that gold on wakanda and uh, it, and it feels bad since i spent that gold on wakanda i've been struggling quite a lot with gold so this would be definitely a, a a breath of fresh air, right? Feel more alleviated with the gold. 
And if you are trying to rush Dark Dimension 7, it's, it's definitely something to consider. You guys were saying that there is another gold offer for like uh, $5 or something. I think I heard someone saying 3 million gold for $5. But yeah, I understand it, it might not make sense for someone over 28 days. That's the annoying part. It definitely makes a difference. You have three days to the side. Three days to the side. Let's see. Ah, the, pro the biggest problem is this. For me, the biggest problem with this offer is this. The bank for your buck, it finishes in four days. So they, they want to force you to spend $100 while this shit bank for your buck is still going on. Eighty million gold to max out your new warriors. <laughs> okay, so if you can afford it, I think it's a good offer. If you bought that offer for five dollars for thirteen gold orbs, it makes total sense to buy this one hundred dollar offer. It's annoying that it is over twenty eight days, but uh, you can get up to. 80 million gold, maybe even 90 million gold if you are lucky. In 50 gold orbs, if you are on a good seed, you can really get a, a nice boost uh, from the gold drops as well. Uh, so we'll see. If you are a spender, I definitely recommend. If you need gold, if you are trying to catch up with your war teams or with your crucible teams to level 100, if you are trying to rush Dark Dimension 7, 10 million gold from 90 to 90. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand that. I understand that. Depend from 95 to 100. It's 6 million gold. So it will be 10 characters. Is there any way you can update your Discord tier list? Yes, I will update it soon. Yes. I will update it to include the Spider Society. The, the only use I have for gold is, is to buy the, the red gear, yeah. You want to get the characters that win matches to, le to level 100. So, for example, on the new new warriors, you want to get uh, your um, on the new warriors. You want to get your fire star to level one hundred, but characters like cloak and so on, uh, you don't need you don't need to level them up. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just something that is going to help you with crucible and alliance wars. And maybe help you to, to get to Dark Dimension 7 faster. Because with all that gold, you can just refresh the store. And uh, you spend around uh, 2.5 million gold buying the gear. It definitely helps. It's a good, yeah, it's a good offer. Is it amazing? So amazing would be... 6 million gold per $5. That's the best offer we ever had for gold. It was 6 million gold for $5. So $100, that's going to be 20. So that would be 100 million gold, 120 million gold for $100. I don't think Scopely will ever make that. This is around 80 million gold. So it's still... No, I just buy the, the uniques and the mini uniques. As soon as I have all the uniques I want, I will check out what I need to buy. If I need to buy like more of this gear, 
or catalyst or something but yeah we are close to to dark dimension 7 to start to start close enough we, we just have to wait one week yeah 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 i agree i agree these 28 days doesn't really help anyone i understand that they are trying to minimize the impact it has across uh, the across everyone right so the the free-to-play players don't get such a impact when they face you but uh, at the same time it's sort of an, uh, a poor excuse about it i don't know if if it's uh, even a good reason because make it over 12 days like why it has to be 28 days it's, it's just such a long period of time forge and spot farmable soon 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 we should have an announcement about it soon. No, we actually are not going to have an announcement about it soon. So, since uh, Battery Bill finished the Dark Dimension 7, and now they are making a poll about which characters we want from the Battery Bill uh, Dark Dimension 7 completion. And because it's based on a vote, because it's based on a vote, I'm sure that Scopely will delay this. So, if people vote for a nightcrawler they don't have to give us like red goblin and uh, and gwenham so they might use uh, the dark dimension 7 completion from battery build to actually delay the extreme x-men being farmable as a business pr perspective that would make the most sense for uh, for scopely okay guys i think we are done for today uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We're going to check out the Cosmic Crucible defense. We're going to adjust based on what we have seen this week. I'm going to start my spreadsheet for Season 7. I open on Discord the Season 7 results. If you guys want to share your results with other people. I voted for Red Goblin and for Gwenom. Red Goblin and Gwenom. Void Knight, he doesn't need extra stars. But uh, Red Goblin and Gwenom definitely need extra stars. So I would definitely prioritize character stars on those than the other ones. I have 3 Diamond Robbie, Nightcrawler, Kestrel. Who should I 3 Diamond next? Uh, Kang, do you have Kang? Kang is still good. Uh, Namor could also be good. Craven also good. Firestar also good. Yeah, I would focus on those that I mentioned. So once again, Firestar, Craven, and Kang. If you don't have Kang already, and uh, also the Spider Weaver. Okay, okay, guys, that's going to be it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. If not, uh, we'll see each other. Maybe on Saturday, we'll see if Erna Milk is going to pop that baby early or not. Uh, our Kira. And if, it, if there will be any data mines, I'll make a video about it. But it seems like we are not going to have any data mines until, uh, until tomorrow. Okay, that's it for today. Wish you guys have a great night and I'll catch you guys later. Take care.